This is my uh, prototype electronics circuit uh, for the upcoming round two original series enterprise. Uh, on the front half of the board you can see uh, the running lights and then here are the strobe lights circuit. Those two uh, tan colored are, are potentiometers that can control the brightness of the running lights and the strobes. Nothing like uh, soldering everything in place and getting into your ship only to discover that uh, everything's too bright or too dim. The back side of the board is the that's the uh, motor control uh, chip and then the blinking lights for the nacelles. Uh, over here is a um, rotary encoder which lets me speed up or slow down uh, the engines to get exactly what I want. And then over here is a switch to change the running lights from uh, one and a half seconds on, half seconds off, to half second off, one and a half second on, to almost equal um, from various episodes. I think uh, Cobra Maneuver had that. So let's just power this up. And we'll look at the engines in a second. So here's the running lights, and it starts off with the uh, one and a half seconds on, half seconds off. I push the button. And it switches to half second on, one and a half seconds off. And if I do it again, it goes to almost on and almost equal on and off. And then it'll remember that setting. So if you turn off the power and turn it back on and remember what uh, uh, setting you had, and it'll start up with that. So these little chips here are PIC microcontrollers. Uh, and they're programmed uh, with some uh, flash memory so I can keep that. Here are the strobes. You can't really see it in the daylight very well, but you can kind of see them. Uh, they're just uh, twice every second, and again, those tan colored uh, uh, pots back there control the brightness. So, if you look at the running lights, I can yeah, if the screwdriver would move. There we go. So, I can turn it down to dim the brightness. Screwdriver doesn't want to work. Oh well. Uh, the big thing, I guess, is this engine. This is what I really need some help on. Is I've got some steady, five steady on amber lights, one steady on blue, then some blinking green, red, pink, and another blue. Um, if I use this rotor encoder here, I can make it go faster. Or I can make it go slower. And then if you push on it, it goes back to the default. So the question is, and I don't know whether you can see the greens and the blues very well, or even the pinks, um, is whether I've really captured the look of the original series Enterprise or whether there's something else I can do. So this is just a, a gumball cover, one dollar from a machine at my local Loblaws, and uh, I just frost it on the inside, put some tape to simulate the spokes. Um, there's little tiny motors back there, you can't really see them, um, and then a uh, uh, shaft coupler and some uh, mandibles um, for uh, dremels but they're metric so they fit with the with the motors and that's what the dome is attached to so all the lights are underneath you can't really see that very well and I only did it on one side uh, but you can see I've set it up so that the uh, uh, starboard side rotates clockwise from looking from the front and the uh, port side uh, rotates counterclockwise again looking from the front. You could just switch the wires and do whatever you wanted whether you wanted them both rotating in the same direction.